With the Riverside Android app, you can record high quality video and audio content right from your mobile device. And we've updated our Android app to make it even better. Let me show you what's new. First, you'll want to download the free Riverside app. There'll be a link in the video description directly to the Play Store, or you can just search for the Riverside app and you'll download it there. When you first open the Riverside app, you can create a new account, join a studio as a guest, which is great for your remote guests who might not have a Riverside account, or log in. Once you've logged in, you'll immediately notice you can see thumbnails and previews of your past Riverside recordings right here from the mobile app. If you wanted to share one of these recordings, this way someone can download those video and audio files to edit, you can tap the share button next to any previous recording, then copy that link, email, text it, or send it however you'd like. If you're on the Riverside business platform, not only will you see your list of studios, but you can tap here and jump to different productions and there you'll see the studio listing for each production. Then once you're in a studio on any Riverside plan, you can tap the three dots next to the studio name and you can quickly access the invite to studio links. We've made a new drawer here, which makes it easy to access the guest, producer, and audience links separately. Guest is someone you invite who you want to record with you. A producer is not recorded, but can manage the technical aspects of the call. Audience members can view the recording live, but are not recorded. Just tap the link icon and that link will be copied to your clipboard or you can hit the share button to bring up the share sheet. When you tap a previous recording, you can preview it just yet in the Android app, but stay tuned, we're working on it. Also under that three dot menu, you can share all the recordings in this studio by tapping this link here. Then someone with that link can download any of the video and audio files from this studio specifically. Finally, we do make a couple studio settings available here in the three dot menu, including renaming the studio, choosing the language for the studio, and choosing whether you want to record just audio or audio and video. When you're ready to record, you'll now tap the record button here at the bottom. Of course, we'll prompt you to rotate your phone to landscape. This way you get the best aspect ratio possible. You can also choose whether you want to use the front facing or rear facing camera. The rear is gonna give you the highest quality, but then you won't be able to preview your video. We'll keep it on the front facing camera for now. And if we tap the three dots here on the right, we can mute the speaker of this device, which is helpful if you wanna record multiple camera angles, but that might cause feedback. So muting the speaker is a great way to have multiple mobile devices recording the same scene in person, but you won't have that audio feedback. You can still invite people from here in the studio and you'll see that same drawer with guest producer and audience links. And you can change the function of this mobile device to be used as a second camera. This will not record audio from this device, but you'll get that video file and it's synced to the rest of the recording and you can use that in an external editor. You can turn your camera on or off and then mute yourself or unmute yourself. When you're ready, tap join and you're almost ready to record. From here, you can still invite people, guest audience or producers using that button. And when you're ready to record, just hit the record button in the top left. You'll get the five second countdown. And once it hits zero, now you're recording in high quality video and audio using the Riverside app on your Android device. When you're done recording, press the stop button. Then all the video and audio files for you and your remote guests will be uploaded and you'll see the confirmation that all files have been uploaded. Now we can end the call for everyone. Now when we hit the X, we'll go back to our studio and you'll see that the recording I just finished is currently processing here at the top of the list. This way you can be sure everything you just recorded is safe in your Riverside account. Once it's done processing, you can hit the share button for this new recording and then send that to a colleague or someone who's going to edit that content and they can download all the video and audio files from the link you sent right from your mobile device. And those are the updates to the Riverside Android app. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video. And remember, we're working on being able to preview your recordings right from the app, so stay tuned. And it's a great reason to subscribe to the YouTube channel right here. Every time there's a new feature or updates, we'll cover those via video right here on the channel. And I'll also leave a playlist called Learn to Use Riverside right up here. If you'd like to learn more about the Riverside editor and all the powerful tools there, like our new set pace feature, magic audio, AI generated show notes, and more, I walk through the entire platform. And if you wanna build a setup, maybe more than just a mobile phone with USB microphones, lighting, and cameras, well, I'll put a video right up here that walks you through different budgets for those setups. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.